The High V Hawkeye Showcase brings Iowa basketball to Des Moines. Men's and women's doubleheader from Wells Fargo Arena. The women's game, the main attraction, Caitlin Clark, the main reason why, playing back in front of her home city, in front of a sold out crowd at the well. And Clark comes out swinging. She opens the game with a three, and here's another one, bang, from straight on. Hawkeyes in front by three. Later on the Blake break, Clark again, another. From downtown, Clark hits three threes in the first quarter. Iowa up eight after one. Second quarter, Hannah Stolke gets it going. Down low, patience, back down, easy two. Hawks up seven, Stolke scores 17, and Clark just keeps on firing. In transition from deep. That's what the crowd wanted to see. Clark with 16 in the first half. It's a 20-point game. Iowa actually up by 16 at the break. Third quarter, Gabby Marshall swings it to Clark. Another from the logo. Iowa up by 22. Lead continues to grow. Clark pulls up again in transition. You just can't guard that. Nine threes, 38 points for Caitlin. Fourth quarter. Uh, let's get that passing going as well. Clark zips it to Kate Martin, layup and the foul. 15 for Martin, Iowa rolls 104-75. Here's Mark Freund with more on Caitlin Clark's return to Des Moines. We can confirm there were basketball games played at Wells Fargo Arena on Saturday, but this night was all about Caitlin Clark's return to Des Moines. And Clark delivered for the hometown crowd. <laughs> Yeah, it was really special. I, this is probably the game that was circled on the calendar for myself. I was just really excited to come back here, and it takes a lot of hard work to be able to put on events like this, so I'm really just thankful that I was able to come back here and play in front of a lot of family and friends, and, um, you know, I thought we played really well. Um, yeah, it's just really exciting. I had chills when we ran out of the tunnel. It's just cool to see how people support us. I think it's awesome. Just, mm -hmm. I love her a lot, so <laughs> <laughs> just seeing that other people do too, and She's just an amazing basketball player. I think it's awesome that they're supporting her and supporting us because of her. You know, grew up coming to games here. I eventually played here in high school, and now I had the opportunity to play here in college. And um, it's special. Like, this place will always kind of have a special place in my heart. And um, I'm just really thankful to be able to come back here and, and play in front of this crowd. People of all ages wearing 22 shirts saw Clark win her first game at Wells Fargo Arena since she was at Dowling Catholic. The Hawkeyes head home where they win a lot more often for a Thursday home game against Loyola. At the well, Mark Freund, WHO 13 Sports. Mark, thank you. The Iowa men also at the well taking on Florida A&M trying to end a three game skid and Iowa hits the gas early. Peyton Sanford and one. Hawks score the first seven. They are off and running. The Rattlers are not good. Then Brock Harding, great look to Laji Dembele. Nine points for the freshman. Looking good. Iowa up 25 to eight. A bit later, Tony Perkins working on the mid range. Pulls up, hits the jumper. Iowa up by 20. Perkins drops a dozen. And it's Owen Freeman time. Get the ball to the freshman. Little alley oop, finish, and the foul. Got it to go, 14 points, 11 rebounds for Freeman. Iowa up 23 at the break, second half more of the same. Sanford, three from the corner. The Waukee native scores 13. And then Harding showing some of that freshman flash, driving underneath the layup. Acrobatic, 10 points for Harding. Hawkeyes crush the Rattlers, 88-52. Yeah, I think you've heard us talk about it a lot, how many good players we have on this team. And, um, you know, we haven't been playing the connected basketball that we've needed to over that really tough stretch, but um, there's been a huge emphasis on it. We've been working on it. And, you know, practices have been very good. And um, I'm proud of the way that we started, which is something that we need to do better, especially in those big games. Um, and on the road, getting behind, it's really hard to come back. So I was proud of the way we came out. We really moved it well. Um, and then to the start, start of the second half, we were moving it really well, too. So.